Alberta became a province of Canada in 1905 and was part of Rupert's Land. The province is located in the west coast of Canada. The physical geography of Alberta is very unique with many interesting features and information which includes the population density and distribution, work industries and more. In an area of 661,190 kilometers square, there are about 3.7 people living in the space, giving a population density of 5.38 per kilometer square. Alberta is populating very quickly, and most of the population is located in Edmonton, which is the capital of Alberta, or Calgary, the largest city in the province. There are many reasons why people live in Alberta. One reason is because there are many lakes and rivers. Old Man River and the Bow River are two of the many bodies of water Alberta contains. The economy also affects the population. Alberta has a good economy because of their tax system, investments, cooperation between industries and communities, and especially because of the resources that they have to offer. Alberta is populating too quickly and is creating a crisis for the province. Compared to other places in the world, Alberta has a good quality of life. The life expectancy is around 82 years for a female and 77.4 years for a male. In Alberta, 51,079 people were born from 2008 to 2009. In the previous year, 49,568 were born. And as the years drop, there are lower, lower birth rates. Alberta has a per capita income of 74825 for 2007 and a GDP of $259.991 billion for 2007, which may impact some lives and the population characteristics. Not everyone's lives are such great, though. There are still many people living in poverty or other problems. The province is situated in western Canada. It is 60 degrees latitude north and 49 degrees from the closest Canadian United States border. 642,317 kilometers square of the province is land and the rest is water. Mountains are found in the west of Alberta. In fact, one of them is the Rocky Mountains. Plains are in the north, center, and south of Alberta. Badlands are dry and do not consist of much vegetation and is located in the southeastern part. Land use in Alberta has caused many problems such as deterioration of air, soil, and has caused lower water quality. Not only does the land use impact the environment, but similar to other provinces with urban cities, many people in Alberta use cars and technology which pollutes and disrupts the earth. There are many jobs in Alberta. The development and growth has improved in Alberta because of the following industry sectors. As you can see, there are primary, secondary, and tertiary industries. As there are so many sectors, there are many job placements left empty and companies strive for more employees. There are many problems and consequences that take place in Alberta. Because the population is rising very quickly than it should be, some people are struggling as the province cannot feed everyone. Poverty, environmental problems, traffic, lack of services, deteriorating infrastructure all happen in many cities of Alberta. Not enough workers can be found so people could not receive the best services. Not only does the health of humans in Alberta weaken, but pesticide use from agriculture and households impacts many lives. There is some organic farming which takes place, but many rely on chemicals. Though pesticides haven't been banned by the government, the government has taken part in many programs, and one of them is the Water for Life Action Plan, which attempts to maintain safe drinking water, sustainable economy, and healthy ecosystems. Overall, Alberta is all right at the moment. Hopefully, it will not overpopulate like places such as Tokyo, and hopefully, pesticides will be soon banned so that humans may stay healthy. Jobs are easy to find, and the quality of life is fine. It is very interesting how the province has different types of lands, and it is fascinating to see how much the place has developed.